In this video, the Lozy LMT is going to get some new axle braces. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone was doing well. As you can see, I got my Lozy LMT on the bench and today it's going to get some new axle braces. So most of you know, if you're into the LMT, that the axles are the weakest point, I would have to say, so far. Uh, they chip, they crack, mine have all of that, but I'm going to try to prolong the life of them with these new braces from Freestyle RC. They are carbon fiber and they look pretty dang slick. They're just gonna slide over, I guess. We'll see in the install how they go, but uh, these should really strengthen them up. And then the eventual plan is when the new axles from Lozy come in stock, they've changed the design and they're gonna be a little bit stronger. And so with that housing and these braces, I think that they'll hold up really good. They won't be too heavy on the truck and I won't have to spend that price tag on those treel axles because they do look really nice, but they're, you know, time you get a set, it's like as much as your truck. So uh, that's something a lot of people aren't going to want to do. And I think that this is going to be a much more cost effective way. They did take a long time to come in, but they were 45 bucks for the set. So I think that's just going to add a really good uh, layer of security and strength to the axles and not break the bank. But Let's get this truck flipped over and see what we have to do to get them installed and see how they go on. So I think I'm going to go with the back first. I'm just going to pop the wheels off just to maybe make it a little bit easier here. We'll take all four wheels off the rig. Man, that one was a bitch. Yantas are off. Flip this bad Larry over. Put a body clip back in there to hold that in so it doesn't bother me. Okay, so if you look at them, they look like both are the same. So, I believe this is how they're going to go on. So both of the braces are the same. So they're going to go on like this. You have to take your link off, and then they go on underneath the link mounts. And then that's going to slide over the diff housing okay looks pretty simple so i'm gonna get to wrenching and get the rear all on okay so here's how the bracers are gonna go on just like this like i said it's just gonna sit on this little ridge and then you'll use those longer screws so it's kind of bracing the whole axle there i guess like that which, you know, I guess maybe these are going to take some of the, the abuse. I'm not quite sure, and I'm not sure how they're going to look underneath the truck. We'll have to look after we get the wheels all back on. But you can see here, I mean, look at this. I got this big crack here. I got this chip right here, and I got a couple of those same chips right here because it's like a multi-piece setup. They keep chipping. So, uh, yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, but... I will go ahead and finish up the install on the front as well, but super simple install. Just make sure you put these back on right. And like I said, you got to use the longer hardware, but they include that, so you'll be good to go. those all bolted on it was really simple they look good the only thing i'm concerned about is the link mount there hard to tell if it's raised or not don't know exactly where they were sitting they do look like they're actually sucked down a little bit more than i initially thought um the back of the axle part's okay but this is going to stick out in the front here and that's kind of gonna you know you're gonna see that which, I mean, I need some strength. It's not a scale truck, but still, uh, it's going to add a different look. So I'm going to go ahead, get the wheels all back on, and then we'll go ahead and see what it looks like when they're all on, and I'll give you the, the rest of my thoughts. 
Okay, so here is a look from the front. They actually don't stick out that bad. You barely even notice them. So uh, that fear is now gone. I do not mind that. It doesn't really look too crazy. And obviously you want strength, so you're going to have to deal with that if you're going to want to beef up those axles. Let's look at the back. So they're a little more noticeable from the back, but they look really nice. They're all on there. And, you know, they're not like a sore thumb or anything. And you're going to want that strength, so it is what it is. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the install. Overall, super easy to put on. Not a problem at all. They included the hardware, so that's really nice because, you know, that added thickness. You're going to need longer screws. We'll have to test them and see how they hold up. Uh, these axles, well, that one that's cracked is definitely going to be replaced at some point. So whenever they come back in stock, I will pick up another set and go ahead and move them over. For now, I'm hoping the carbon fiber doesn't crack or break underneath there. So I'm going to have to test it for the durability factor. And at least now I'm not going to really be afraid to go for some of those bigger jumps or anything like that. Because I was kind of holding back a little bit. And it hasn't been very warm. The day I did the crack, it was a little chilly out. But it wasn't like cold, cold. It was above 30 degrees. I know that. Uh, maybe in the 40s that day. So uh, they are cracking even when it's not really cold. If anything hits them, that seems to be the deal. People are getting chips left and right. Uh, you saw mine, how beat up they were. So hopefully these braces, you know, hold up and give you some security. I'd, you know, I'd recommend them so far. I, I can't say how they're going to hold up. I'm obviously going to have to test them before I give them a full recommendation. But uh, they are a nice option if you're looking to beef up these axles before you can figure out another solution. So uh, I'm really happy and I look forward to getting the truck out and bashing it again. But uh, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I got channel memberships going now. There's three different tiers. I'll shout you out. I'll send you some stickers. And I'm going to do more live streams, but I'm going to keep them private. So if you become a channel member, you'll be able to access those and go and watch them. I just I want to be able to be more of myself. And on YouTube, sometimes I have to restrain my language and subject matters and stuff like that. So with the live streams, I want to just kind of have a little bit more fun and not be so uptight. I'm not worried about the monetization on them or anything like that. So if that interests you, you can click that join button. It got approved, so it should be working. Uh, and also it is a working progress, so I'm not 100% sure everything is right but I'm going to pay attention to it and try to sort it out and make sure you know I can offer you guys just that little bit if you want to support the channel uh, monetarily that you know uh, would be nice for me and I can do a little bit more stuff. Uh, that's kind of my goal, but if not, it doesn't really matter. I just saw it as an option that everyone's doing it, so I figured I might as well add it. I, I've had it for so long and I just realized now I could do it. I thought you needed 10,000 subscribers, but uh, I guess you don't. So uh, that is there. Make sure you go follow me over on Instagram, RC underscore propaganda. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up. It seems just hitting the like button, honestly, is the best thing to do for channels. So if you're watching anyone's videos, just hit the thumbs up button. That really helps. Uh, subscribing seems like it's kind of taken a second step because most of my views are from non-subscribers anyway. But uh, yeah, I look forward to getting this truck out and I will report back when the time is right and I'll catch you guys in the next video.